impress someone race? Uh, definitely gives me a lot of confidence in my team that, uh, you know, knowing that we've been so good at basically every racetrack ever since, you know, springtime this year, um, you know, definitely gives me a lot of confidence going into this weekend. But, um, you know, it's kind of all reset at this point, so it's hard to say, you know, where we're going to end up. But we got a long 50-minute practice tonight, and I'm looking forward to going and executing on it. Is it one of those things where you guys unload and you're, you're kind of behind a little bit off the, off the track and you feel a little nervous going into the weekend? Uh, well, that's not the goal, so hopefully we're good. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like we've been really good off the truck basically every week this year. So, um, you know, we got a little extra time to kind of go out and try some different stuff, like a, you know, kind of a new week for us. So um, we're going to shoot it a little bit like a test and kind of try some different things and uh, use our teammates to our advantage to make sure that we have the exact package that we need going into tomorrow night. In terms of prepping for this race, um, is there any tracks on the schedule that would be similar to Phoenix, like maybe Milwaukee or something else? Yeah, you could say similar. Uh, I feel like Phoenix is a little bit of its own animal. But, um, yeah, I mean, the, it's a you know, flat track, pretty abrasive. So you can say Milwaukee, maybe Gateway in a way. Um, but once again, Phoenix is really a unique in its own. So um, I've never really been to a place quite like it, and it's really a, a big variable for us just because we only race one time a year with the truck series. So uh, everyone might be a little bit rusty. you got to knock the rust off. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. I need to get seventh in this race a year ago. Um, what do you remember and you can take from that race and apply it to this one? Yeah, I feel like that race was really key for uh, this championship race this weekend, just to be able to go back and rely on that information that I, and knowledge that I gained throughout that race. Um, I won't get into specifics, but I just feel like there's a lot of stuff in my end that could have cleaned up. So uh, to take that knowledge and apply it to Sim and really just play around with that uh, for the past six or seven weeks has been really key. Thank you. And uh, also one more. Uh, I think your, I believe your top ten streaks now is 15 in a row. Average been a 6.1 to three wins, um, fast every week. Does all that kind of put more pressure on this weekend? Knowing it's, do you feel that it's kind of your title to lose in that sense? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Um, I really just feel like that uh, gives me more confidence. Really, just knowing that we'll be, you know, sure enough, we'll be at least in contention at one point. So, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I really have the team in Tricon Garage and Toyota Racing under me to succeed. It's just a matter of going out and executing. So, um, you know, the statistics are great and all, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, the goal is to go win the race and win the championship. All right, thank you. Thanks. This is Timmy Hill, driver of the 56 Toyota. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of those videos beside me and visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.